All right, guys. Uh, hello. I am Chris. I'm starting off this uh, channel trying to talk about the Pennsylvania medical marijuana scene and do what I can to inform people about how it works, what's out there, different terminology, who the main players are, uh, what I like, what I don't like. Uh, try to um, also get uh, insights from the people that are producing uh, the products. Uh, from dispensaries and from the community that's using it. So hopefully I'll be able to bridge a gap for all of you guys and uh, be able to get some good information out there and uh, let you know, you know, what's worth looking into, uh, among other things. So let's get started. I've got a couple products. Uh, first one is one of my favorite companies, if not my favorite company at the moment. Uh, it's Terrapin. Uh, they make a lot of good products. Uh, I really pay attention to the Double Berry program. Uh, it's a concentrate. Uh, they have seemingly consistent pricing. I'm not sure if they have it contracted with places. Uh, this one right here is ice cream cake. That uh, comes into focus. There we go. Uh, it's an indica. Uh, it is got the whole lay down of uh, the contents there. I'll have a picture uh, available for you to look at too. Um, but uh, basically, they have consistently great products. This one's a live sugar. Uh, and the prices are also consistently great. They've got it for $55 a gram as the standard. Uh, and they're almost in the 80% range. Uh, and this one, like I said, is a live sugar. That just means that it was uh, uh, harvested uh, while it was still fresh. Uh, so you get more of the flavors and terpenes preserved. Um, so it's got a nice fragrance to it. I'll show it to you as well. It looks goopy. You know, you need some kind of tool to manage it for sure. But it's uh, really nice. I like it a lot. I've already uh, dipped into it a little bit and tried it. Uh, in the future, I'll try to sort of unbox it and try it. Uh, uh, you know, all at, all at once for the cameras. But this is the first one. I'm just trying to get things started, get it underway. Uh, but it's a really nice concentrate. Like I said, I recommend anything from Terrapin, especially their Double Bear line. But all of their products are really good quality and extremely reasonably priced. So there you go. Keep an eye out for them. It's tough when they pop up. It's usually only a limited amount, and they go quickly. So get what you can. But the Double Bear is the line that I go to the most whenever I see them. Uh, that said, I wanted to try out another product uh, from them, so I also picked up a Terra Pen. I went for the Dr. Durbin, uh, decided to do a Sativa as well, just have have my options available for when I need them. Um, but this one uh, you know, comes in all this packaging, which I'll tell you I don't I don't love the excess packaging. You, know, you gotta finagle with all of it, and it comes in here. It looks really nice. It is really nice, but to me it just kind of seems a little bit wasteful. I don't know. Uh, it's also just, you know, what do you do with this afterwards? You just throw it away, collect it. It seems like a lot of quality material that's just being used for a second. So I don't know. Just my two cents. But anyways, I got the pen. It's a cartridge, actually. Uh, so I, you need to have your own battery to attach to it. I've got a handful of them. They offer them there uh, for cheap. But, uh... I had some from my my own sorted past, uh, and uh, but uh, this is a delightful one. It's a nice sativa one. Says so it's morning time. Figures it's a good time to give it a try. Got my pen going through the warm up phases. So I haven't had any issues with uh, pens not hitting. Uh, I know that. Uh, I've heard a thing or two from some friends about issues with the, actually I'm not going to say it yet because I'm not confident and I don't want to throw any, anyone under the bus, but I'll, I'll give you guys updates as I get them about who I've had issues with and who I haven't, but overall mostly it's been great. I've been sticking to the disposables um, and those are fantastic. They're a really nice easy way to medicate on the go. Uh, they're discreet and uh, let's see, I actually have one right over here. So this one is a Rhythm, this one is a Brownie Scout, which is also an Indica. It is one of my favorite, I think one of just the favorites really of the community around here from what I've seen so far. Um, 
Straight out to the, shout out to the Strain Gang, by the way. That's a group I follow on Facebook. Uh, they do a great job already of taking pictures and sharing information. Um, hopefully you guys are down to be uh, co-opted in this uh, podcast and uh, channel because I think we've got a lot of value to bring. So um, anyways, uh, I'm going to end this video here because it's not very organized and I've got a, a little bit more of a structure I'd like to stick to for the future ones. But I wanted to introduce myself, show you a couple products, and uh, just get things rolling. So uh, again, I'm Chris. Thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to future videos.